Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the place further than the universe episode number 10 reaction. All right, to the previous episode. Um we reached Antarctica, um, but on the way while we were going there, there was like an incident that happened. Um the guy, uh, I forgot his name, the guy who's like, you know, in the uh, expedition team. He wanted to, you know, kind of confess to Todo Gin and he was kind of asking the girls about you know like you guys might know more about her especially shirase so if they can tell anything about her to him and they like you know the girls kind of did like a little interview and stuff trying to get to know more about her past and all and shirase was not there and we kind of get to get a little flashback of how shirase and gin were knew each other uh shirase's mom always left her alongside like you know along with gin and you know like they kind of were awkward with each other but they were kind of still friends if you think about if you see it like that and uh little by little their bond kind of grew uh and <clears throat> like gain kind of taught her a lot of things a lot of history about the whole antarctic you know like the expeditions and stuff that they go through and even taught her how never to just stop always to keep going uh and we can see that like you know shirase always failed at skipping you know skipping rope so she always failed but she kept going and going and now she can skip so well it's kind of similar to the whole thing that was happening in present where there was like these chunks of ice and uh, the ship was using its force to break through the ice little by little if even if it doesn't work keep going and eventually the ice will break and we also get a little history um you know like information his historic information about what happened after the war after they law like you know the war and <clears throat> they like you know the this part this part of antarctica which was a place where it's very difficult to go in it was given to japan and they thought that okay they won't be able to like you know get in and make use of this but uh you know like everyone took this the japanese took this as a challenge and they were able to uh, conquer that and that's why in the end of it everyone's like you know catchphrase is in your face <laughs> even shirase like you know and like you know she even like you know was like in your face to all the children not children all the friends that made fun of her and all the uh, people in his in her school and uh, yeah all the people who didn't think this would be possible in their face <laughs> And the guy, but in the end, she decide, he decides not to tell anything to Gin. And <laughs> the lunch lady, he was like, oh, you are so... <laughs> and when the lunch lady was saying that, ah, like, yeah, like, next time try someone who you might have a better chance with. He's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, you are here. <laughs> and just, <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Ah. So, yeah, that was that. Let's see what happens this episode. Um, Antarctica, here we are. And uh, yeah, we're going to get our tour of Antarctica from this episode onwards, I'm guessing. I'm excited for it. So let's get started. This is episode number 10 of A Place Further Than The Universe. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, the wait. Okay. Wait, they're 78? How old are they? I'm guessing the, okay, the clothing and everything. I doubt I even weighed that much. But I'm guessing the dress and the helmets and everything that they're wearing kind of weighing them down. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, we're on the helicopter. Oh my god, <laughs> she's like, nah, it's not for me, I'm not looking down. 
<laughs> ah. I'm guessing they'll oh they oh no no they were probably weighing him them because of the helicopter you know the weight limit or something maybe that I, at first I thought they were weighing them because uh, you know the eyes will be fragile or something there'll be like a weight limit up until you can go otherwise it might break I thought it was that was the reason why they were weighing them but then I realized okay they're going on a heli maybe it's both you know maybe because of the helicopter weight limit and the eyes weight limit that's why I don't know, I have no idea. What? If you touch me, I can. <laughs> okay. Lie down. Wait. December is okay. So it is summer. There you go. Oh yeah, they they had the whole. Oh my god. That's why they were told to duck down. And that's why it's morning here you know day because it's december hmm okay lakeside hotel oh hmm Own room, okay. Oh! <laughs> Static, okay. <laughs> Open. That's how she sleeps? Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, the main for the mom. Hmm. Wait, what's, what's written? <laughs> Look at the penguin. <laughs> Look at it.
Oh, that's unusual. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what's written? Oh my god, they did not show us. It's probably something that... Oh! It's like pi- Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is a... Wool? Is... What is that? Filtered. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Something's bothering her. Yeah. Drama. Wait. Oh. Fast. Okay. Oh, she's talking about after. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Hang, yeah, just hang out normally, you know, when everyone has time. <laughs> well, yeah. Now you're going to Antarctica together. So. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> what what's it going <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Oh my god what's that Um, yeah. Oh, oh my god, this guy's girl is. <laughs> Someone needs. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> hmm. What's she trying to do now? <laughs> oh my god, this looks quite cozy. Like, look at this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Powerful chicken. Oh. Warm. Where? 
Oh, they're going to be chefs. What? No. <laughs> oh no, they might try to snatch it. <laughs> That's what's bothering him. <laughs> what you die? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this is Ah, uh, wooden events. True. The what hat is she? The reindeer hat. Now I don't think she ever had anyone to spend it with. You know like friends and stuff not fair oh yeah damn that's kind of what oh <laughs> Okay. Mm, okay. Hmm, there you go. That that last scene kind of showed us Wait, 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 what? <laughs> okay, calm down. All right, yeah, there you go. Oh. Damn, the difference. He, she was kind of like, you know, she just says like, very, uh, what do you call it, like strict about this, while she's just... Ah. Oh my god. Well, who wouldn't eat this, you know? Like, who wouldn't? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that looks good. Partially frozen. Partial done. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, she was crying because... Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, let them, let her speak. Yeah. <laughs> it's a feeling, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah.
Parental or spousal relationship. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. There's no boundary or contract bound thing, you know? That's not friendship. That's just a... Yeah. Sure. What the? Is she drunk or something? Oh no no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> the reindeer's nose. <laughs> I'm on my way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna surprise him. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my god, yo, don't break your leg. Ah. And she's not angry. Hmm. <laughs> but she kind of did a few things, yeah. Oh, there, this. Okay. I see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How she, what she's feeling. Yeah, and how she... <laughs> Yeah, if she sees the message and it takes a little bit of time, then she's feeling a little bit... Yeah. Wow, that was a really good explanation. Yep. <laughs> oh my god I was kind of thinking it's probably her birthday that's why she said that no one oh no it's not today oh I thought today was her birthday okay okay our friend user Ah. I thought today was her birthday. Uh, that's why I thought she, that's why she said like, oh, it's kind of sad. Like sometimes people like, you know, it, like the birthday is same, but there are people who never get their birthday celebrated. I was thinking that's because today is her birthday and today is Christmas. That's why, you know, okay, never mind. But okay, it's kind of. Good morning. Thank you.
Ja. Wow. I'm sorry, thanks. What? Ah. Wait, right? Is that what it's written? Right. Is that like a translation? I think that kind of got lost in translation or something. Right, like. It's probably lost in translation. Let me know. Like, they said like, it's, it's like the, the one letter in hiragana. I don't know what that letter meant, but the translation was right. But I don't think that was probably like a literal translation, which doesn't make sense. But if it's in Japanese, it would make sense. So, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Let me know, you know, if, if you ever have like a better um, explanation of that last letter, the last thing that we saw, that, that uh, letter that they gave. Yeah. All right. Wow, this is a really good episode again. These episodes which kind of deal with these like, you know, human emotions and stuff. Um, these are very interesting and I feel like these are the episodes where the anime this anime really shines and yeah oh my god this is another good episode okay, maybe there's something left there you go okay uh new year's uh, japan recap uh, messages by tamaki wait a minute L let me check the last thing what's written there um no uh not the last yeah the last thing okay um can i put some okay new year's card from antarctica timetable program introduction introduce the soya based post office japan's most southern post box by oh is this like the um the thing that they're going to record after this you know the the the, the thing um uh, the vlogging thing or whatever the interview that they're taking you know probably that yeah japan's most southern post box by shiraishi yuzuki yuzuki will do that recap episodes from the girls and tactic episode by shiraishi yuzuki messages from japan to the crew yeah 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 message from family members for tamaki mari messages from family members oh for tamaki mari oh so her mom and dad probably sent some message to her I'm, I'm sure they're getting interviewed, you know, while, while we are here, like they're like the, this is like a very huge thing that's happening, like high school girls going to Antarctica. I'm sure they're going to get, they're getting interviewed by the local media or something, their parents. So most probably that's something like that. Their parents had some message or something. Okay. Messages from Hanyu Daishan high school track team for Miyake Hinata. There you go. Okay. Messages from the National Institute of Polar Research for the challenge for Antarctic crew. Introduce life in Antarctica. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So this episode, um, we reach Antarctica, and this episode kind of uh, deals with the whole uh, concept of friendship. Friendship, a thing which is very vague, very abstract type of thing, but at the same time, it's uh, like you know, it's something that is. Like, even though it's abstract and not very difficult to understand you understand it some way or the other you don't like you know, there's no written definition of friendship it's just something that you realize someday and this is one thing that uh, yuzuki wasn't able to understand because he never had any people to be friends with and that's why she was like oh how do you do that how how is it possible to become friends you know, is there like a uh, time when it starts? Like, you know, is there like some kind of magic word that you say like, oh, we are friends and that's when friendship starts. What is it? 
that question. Um, it's a funny thing here. I do remember there was a time um, when I was a kid. This is a funny thing. Um, uh, there's, there's like a little thing in, I don't know if this is all, like, you know, this also happens in some other country or not, but at least in my country, there was a thing where there's a thing called this, this was called friendship, and this was called, like, you know, cutting off ties, you know, this and this. If you kind of, like, you know, put your, both your fingers together, I don't know if this is, like, but at least when I was a child, this, like, and this was a thing. When you put both your thumbs together, they call it, you're making friends with the others. When you do this, you know, like the other person and this person, like kind of put your little fingers together. It's, it's when you say like you are breaking off ties with that person or you're not friends anymore, that kind of thing. And I remember when I was a child, uh, when I was very young and I went to school for the first time, I saw like, you know, everyone was making friends by putting two thumbs together. If you want to make friends with someone, you go to that person and you say, make friends, make friends, put two thumbs together and you're friends. This episode really reminded me of that because here we kind of like, you know, make a, um, like, you know, like the thing that Yuzuki was asking here, like, how can you say that you're friends? You know, when we, we were that age, we used to let others know that we are friends by doing this. It's kind of like a physical way of saying that, oh, I want to be friends with you. And it's kind of interesting thinking about it. It was when we were very little children. And after that, like, it kind of like, you know, when nobody did that after one or two years, <laughs> when we little by little grew up. So it kind of reminded me of that. It's interesting. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay, um, so this episode here, we first we get to Antarctica, they were like, you know, being weighted. And this thing here, okay. 78k. No, wait, what? This part really confused. I'm like, I can see on the weighing machine, there's some boxes as well. So it includes the weight of the box. Oh, that's why it's 78. I'm like, what the hell? These are like some high school girls, like 78 kg, even if the uh, clothes weight more, you know, um, like 78 kg is insane. Like I myself am not 78 kg, like what? I was really confused. I'm like, what's happening here? I can see the, the boxes are also on top of the weighing scale. And I'm like, all right, that's why. Okay. <laughs> like, how can, how can they weigh 78 kg? Like, my God, that was something. Ah. Oh. And all right, so. <clears throat> okay, so then they go up to the helicopter and <laughs> she just is just scared she's like nope i'm not looking down <laughs> oh my god and like no the fear of heights is, is very looking like, you know, it's, it's kind of scary i know that and uh, yeah all right then they reach the land and the helipad and uh, at first i was confused i was like why are they telling them to duck and then i realized they're telling them to duck because the helicopter is going to take off and i'm like all right another thing I, I noticed here is they kind of said this as well um <clears throat> it's December, that's why it's summer. Because we're in the southern hemisphere, yeah, in northern hemisphere, summer is during, like, you know, the, like, which we kind of know that is, like, during the month of May to um, June, July, that time, that time, April, May, June, July, that time, it's summer. And December, it's winter. While this is the southern hemisphere, that's why uh, it's summer in December. And since it's summer, it's daytime and it wouldn't, you know, like there wouldn't be any nighttime here. It'll be daytime all the time. This is Antarctica, the southernmost part. So this is one thing that we get to know here. And uh, I was thinking like, where, what will it be when we go to the southern hemisphere? Will it be night or will it be day? <clears throat> and it's day, that means, okay. Now, <clears throat> we reach our place. Um, uh, the, the place where we'll be living at or like, you know, be, be staying at and it's like a kind of a big place But it's been kind of uh, Neglected because three years nobody came here and that's why we need to do some renovation No Maintenance, sorry, not renovation. 
yeah, renovation as well, you can say, uh, and kind of clean stuff up and get ready, like, you know, kind of, kind of fix things a little bit. Shoveling off the snow, this and that you have to do. Okay, so. All right, so then they, we saw that they were going to have like separate rooms for themselves. <laughs> uh, Yuzuki was like, oh, thank God, like Kimari is sleep talking. That was, that was insane. I, 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 I can't be safe from that now. And they were then bringing like, you know, stuff to them, like you know, through helicopters and everything. Here's where Yuzuki gets to see the, um, the message. And I was like, okay, what's in the message? They kind of brushed past that because they were doing other stuff, you know, like there was like penguins and everything. I don't know why the penguin kind of came towards them. And then I guess, <laughs> but it was interesting. Uh, and okay. And then we see like them like, like doing a lot of things. And I don't know every little details. There were probably, there were also like, there was like a pipeline coming from the, um, the ship to this part, probably uh, transporting, I don't know, something like maybe fuel or something i don't know something like that or maybe that was like an electrical line who knows but they were like kind of transporting something or maybe water or something like that anyways um <clears throat> so okay and we we're doing the stuff and everything that is like shoveling off snow and all and then we come to that part where yuzuki kind of brings up the whole message she's like oh we had an i had an audition for a drama i think yeah morning drama i'll be playing the best friend of the protagonist and he's like i got it and like when everyone's happy everyone's like oh that's really great but yuzuk is kind of stressing she's like but you know like if this happens i might not get to spend much time with you guys so yeah uh, I, I'm kind of scared that we might not be friends anymore because of that. While everyone's like, oh, that's not a problem. Like, you know, like, even if we are not involved with each other, we'll still be friends. And obviously, like, we have our own thing to do, our own lives to leave, live. So obviously not all the time, 24 seven, we'll be able to stay together. Like we are staying now, you know, now we're all involved with each other 24 seven because we're in Antarctica, we're on a trip here and uh, that's why we can see each other all the time but after we go back that will not be the case we'll have our own lives to lead so but we'll still be friends oh my god this again reminded me of something as well like it's again my like you know experience i remember uh it was when uh and there was like a school excursion or something like that uh vacation we went to uh it took uh what is it, school or yeah it was like in my high school uh, no, not high school. Yeah, something like that. Uh, when was it? Yeah, it was in high school. We, we went on an excursion and everything. And then there was these... Uh, it was a new school, however. I had no friends at that moment. Uh, one or two friends I had. And then <clears throat> we went on an excursion and I got become friends with uh, this one group of three or four, uh, like, you know, like kids. Not kids, like they're adults. Not adults, but they're teenagers now. Not teenagers, just adults now, sorry. <laughs> but we had like, you know, like made friends with, the, I made friends with this group and there was like two or three of them and we had a really good time. And when we were coming back, I was thinking like, wait a minute, what's going to happen now? Like I'm, I'm really enjoying myself with these people here. So after we go back, um, is everything will be okay. Will I be able to hang out with them in the future or something? And and then after we came back yeah nothing changed we were still friends and we are still friends and uh, like this again this reminded me of that like the whole Shirase situ uh, not Shirase Yuzuki situation here where she's thinking about what's going to happen when they come back will they still remain friends and you know because this is like a new friendship for her it seems like the other girls are already friends because they knew each other before they knew her so it's a different like you know like thing she's thinking like oh like i might not be able to hang out with them that much they'll remain friends but i won't i won't be like the odd person out and you know these these kind of feelings that comes to her mind i can understand that because i can relate to that because as i said i also had this kind of a similar situation 
and i can very much understand where to, what what yuzuki is thinking in this moment and she's like ah oh, like you know like uh, that's why she's kind of stressed out and everyone's telling her like no it'll be fine you know like and there's like uh <clears throat> you know it it it, it uh, like you know this this whole friend thing we'll still be friends and but she's still stressing out and then she asks a question she says like um <clears throat> what like you know what is friends and how do we become friends or when do we become friends which is something no one is able to answer obviously because there's no answer to that and uh, she's like asking these questions and it's kind of sad thinking about it because you know like it, it really shows that she from her childhood never was able to make friends with anyone as we know because she was always like you know just job and like you know was involved with her job from very young age so that's why she's struggling now all right and then we shift to the next part where there was like uh, the whole thing with the chicken <laughs> but they're like okay like let's thaw the chicken out because it's christmas and they were giving you know the cakes and everything to them uh, to the persons of people outside and here yuzuki realizes that one person plays the radio with his her song she realizes like a lot of people are actually excuse me actually waiting for her like her fans and everything so she thought like yeah i'm going to do this i'm going to do the drama and here she says an interesting thing she says like everybody has a birthday yet there are people whose birthdays get celebrated um and people whose birthdays don't now like you can make a lot like you know think about take this conversation in a lot of different ways one way you can take this conversation is like she has his own way the way she has is thinking here she has said this because she you know like she never had friends that's why she said like oh isn't it kind of unfair how there are people who have you know he never said she never said that yeah there are people who has friends but i i think that's what she was mean like you know meaning here she said like um there's a lot of people whose birthdays get celebrated which means they have friends you know and a lot of people who don't who doesn't have friends or who's probably their family doesn't do these type of things that type and she said like isn't that unfair and that, like that's one way you can take this another way you can take this is if you think about it in an economical way there are a lot of people who are you know like who are not as uh you know uh, what do you call it like who are not uh, what can i say how can i explain this like who are not that much um lucky you know to have enough uh what do you call it? money yeah to be like you know, to be able to like you know sub celebrate their birthday and these type of people they never get their birthday celebrated because they're unable to you can also think of it in this way which obviously is not the thing that she was meaning here but i i'm saying like you know you can also take this in this way as well like there are also those people but birthdays are the same every all people are equal everyone who has been like you know who has been born in this world all are equal all of their birthdays like you know they they should have like the equal chance of celebrating it none no one's birthday is less important than anyone else at this, but at the same time, because of these reasons, some get celebrated, some don't. And it's kind of sad if you think about it like that, you know. So that's what she was kind of saying. She was saying it's basically in the perspective of having friends and, you know. So her, her birthday, I'm sure it never got celebrated like this. Probably her mom brought her gifts and stuff and that's just it. You know, like never like, you know, no friends, nothing, no one to kind of hang out with, have fun with in your birthday. And that's sad. Now, here's where I thought today was her birthday. I thought that was the case, you know, and I also thought maybe because of that as well, since it's like, you know, kind of Christmas, maybe that's why she also like, you know, her birthday and Christmas kind of gets lumped together and <laughs> she never got it celebrated or something. I also kind of thought it in that way as well, but turns out today is not her birthday. It happened before when they were kind of sick. So yeah. Now. Again, here's where she, she, like, you know, she brings up a friendship contract 
and she's like yeah i'll be like you know doing the drama but you know i have a plan here here you go a friendship contract you, you can like you know sign put a signature on it and it'll be fine like this is like a physical manifestation of our worries like oh will we be friends if i start doing this drama she has kind of got mad at here and i can prob definitely understand why she got mad because this is no way you make friends you know if if a friendship is bound by a contract that's not friendship so that's why she kind of got mad she was going to say something but um kima just started crying because she realized that yeah like she never knew how to make friends and you know she came and i realized that but again yuzuki misunderstands that yuzuki is like why is she crying did i make her mad like this thing now a, a word i think kind of uh, it kind of this whole thing kind of reminded me of one thing these people like you know the yuzuki was asking them like what is the definition of friendship and <laughs> i remember one thing I, i think it was a visual novel where i played which i played um, the visual novel is called maji koi and i i know i think there's like an anime of it as well maji de watashi ni koi shinasai um <clears throat> like i remember there was like a character there called gakuto uh you know like he gives like one of the most funniest answer of what a friend and a best friend is you know like someone asks him what is friendship how can you understand if you are just an acquaintance a friend or a best friend of someone and he gives like one of the funniest answer he says like okay like take this thing if you're walking with a person and if that person is your acquaintance you know you you, you look at him and you see like a, a hair coming out from his nose uh, you don't say anything to that person that means you're an acquaintance of that person um if you go to him and say yo dude like it's like a hair sticking out of your nose and uh, he's like oh okay and that means you're a friend of him if you actually go to him and yank that hair off that means you're his best friend i'm like damn that's like a, one of the best answers of <laughs> i've ever heard and that was hilarious and that very much defines friendship you know <laughs> that very much defines friendship and my god that's like one of the best answers to this thing i just realized like i remembered that <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so yeah, now Yuzuki goes back. Uh not sorry, not goes back, sorry. She like and they're like eating and everything and Yuzuki is kind of a little bit, you know, like concerned about Kimari because Kimari kind of like is kind of avoiding her and I realized why she was doing that. She was doing that because probably she had some kind of plan with the cake, birthday cake that they were making and that's why you know uh, when she went to the lunch lady, she was doing this and the lunch lady was doing this. You know, that was probably them signing because of they were like, you know, making the cake or something like that. That was just a surprise. That's why she was not talking with um Yuzuki. and she she has all of them knew what they were doing so that's why they also didn't tell her why and uh, yeah and she also says like in a lot of good things here she's like yeah this is like you know this relationship this friendship is not something that is concrete it's not like a parent or all a spousal relationship you know because in a parent relationship you know this is your mom this is your dad and they gave birth to you this and that this is a different type of relationship if you are uh, like you know like a spouse that is like either a husband or a wife um that's something completely different as well like it's it's like a it's a thing that you know that yeah this is it but friendship it has a very vague boundary and she says like like friendship is something that no one is to blame if it fades like that happens like i i i had a lot of friends who i was best friends with in the school and i at that moment i thought like oh these people will be my friends up until i die but now we don't have any conversation with them and it, it like no one can is to blame here because we probably after like you know walking our own path you know like we 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 kind of just stopped talking and that's why it faded little by little if if i meet them today i'll be like oh hey how are you like yeah it's fine if it's everything good that's it nothing else i won't be laughing with them or like you know joking with them just like i did when i was in school it won't happen unless and until i start hanging out with them again but that's that's what friendship is it changes it fades a lot of things happens but 
you, it's not a concrete thing you cannot just answer it like a exam question you know like what is friendship oh friendship is this that nope no answer no definition it's a very vague line so you, you can give that answer it's just something that you realize someday that yeah you're friends and wow this episode was really good and okay so then Yuzuki goes back and they were like you know doing those christmas stuff the, <laughs> wearing those santa like you know like <laughs> clothing and everything and kimari comes in okay where is it no uh, kimari uh, knocks her door and she's just <laughs> kind of hanging as in the santa outfit and she's like okay should we talk and she, uh, she uh, yuzuki is like are you angry kimari's like no i'm not angry you, like you know you you don't have anything to apologize for and she shows her his her phone where megu you know like writes something and they kind of talking after this and i'm glad that they're like you know keeping their conversation because they had a little bit of a thing problem when they like, you know went on their own way and she said like oh i'm going to break everything off and she's like no it's rejected and it's nice to see them still talking and we can see how kimari just kimari says like you know like it's just me like you know giving out photos talking with her and sometimes she kind of answers sometimes she doesn't but it doesn't matter because, you know, like I can feel what she's feeling. Like sometimes she, as, as soon as I send it, she reads it, but she doesn't answer. It takes her like one or two hours to answer. That's when I realized like she is, she's seen it, but she's kind of fretting and thinking, what should I, like, you know, answer her? You know, what type of uh, answer should I give? And she's thinking about that. And sometimes she, like, you know, just doesn't answer that's when i realized she's probably at school or something else and you know these kind of things i can understand or maybe she's sleeping um so i can understand and like you know like i i can feel what she is feeling by just looking at how the messages go and how she's answering and uh yeah that's just what it is you know it, you, you cannot explain it it's just something that happens and you realize it so, and that's when they bring out their birthday cake and she starts crying she's like yeah this is the first time friends have they cannot celebrated the birthday with me and <laughs> the way she blew off the candle was hilarious she just sneezed in it <laughs> oh no and yeah and we see everyone just like you know having a good time like people just do, like, kind of singing doing their own thing under the kotatsu, playing games and uh, Kanai and Gin are just looking outside yeah all that stuff and yeah I think that's where it ends and, and then like there's the, the last thing what we see like she, they say like I think friendship is this one little world she says like hiragana hitomoji da which always which I means I think that it's, it's this one character from hiragana and then there's this character i see as i said i don't know what it means they they kind of translated it as right question mark and wait a minute okay yeah right and it's saying right so I, I think that's probably that was that thing was lost in translation i don't know what does it really mean right so yeah that was the thing so. yeah i guess mm, that was this episode and in the end we get to see like them kind of putting out the schedule of what's going to happen after this so yeah that is it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the episode number 10 of a place further than the uh, universe and yeah, this is another one of those good episodes and I loved it. So especially because this was dealing with the whole friendship thing, which is a thing which, which, which you can just explain in so many ways. Like this is like one of my favorite topics to discuss with because friendship is something that you, you it's different for every people. There's like a different definition of friendship for each and every people and everything, every definition is correct. Like people see friendship in a lot of different ways. And that's why I love talking about this whole like you know topic of friendship and it's just so versatile. You can just 
you cannot talk so much about it and you know it, it all would make sense and because it's something that you feel there's, there's no like you know written explanation or anything like that so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and this was my reaction to episode 10 so if, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah and that was it thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next week with another episode of a place further than the universe until then goodbye and have a nice day